good morning friends welcome back to the class i hope you all are safe and happy at your home so let's have some discussion today about the symmetric and skew symmetric matrix in this session as a session number 4 so before understand the concept symmetric and skew symmetric matrices first we need to understand the concept transpose of a matrix what is meant by transpose of a matrix and some fundamental properties of transpose and then we'll introduce the type of symmetric and skew symmetric matrices based on that we are going to prove four to five theorems right four to five standard results right thereafter we'll discuss four to five sums to understand the entire concept fine so let's have a discussion on the transpose of matrix first what is meant by transpose of a matrix first i will take randomly one matrix a 2 3 4 5 6 7 now i can write the order of this matrix as three rows and two columns three rows and two columns so if the rows and columns rows and columns of a given matrix if interchanged so what you will say right what you will say if i change the rows and columns so ultimately the row 1 become the column 1 row 2 become the column 2 row 3 become the column so after interchanging you may observe that order also reverse two rows and three columns so the way i am interchanging the rows and columns right is called the transpose transpose means interchanging of rows and columns of a given matrix i repeat transpose of matrix means interchanging of rows and columns of a given matrix it means if the order of the given matrix is 3 by 2 its transpose order becomes 2 by 3 so here the transpose of given matrix is represented by writing a capital t over the matrix symbol or in some cases we are also using the a dash so a dash or a transpose are the symbol used to represent the transpose of a matrix now i can take one more example to understand the transpose of matrix now b is a matrix which showing three elements which is called a row matrix because it has only one row so one row three columns now i can write the transpose of this matrix b transpose is simply by entire take one row first row wise take r1 and write in column wise so r1 become column 1 if i enter change nothing else to change so hence the order of this matrix become what 3 by 1 so 1 by 3 order becomes 3 by 1 hence it is called what transpose of trans b transpose is nothing but what transpose of matrix b a transpose means transpose of matrix a so if i do the transpose of transpose again yani ki main is matrix ka dobara transpose karunga it means b transpose the whole transpose so what i will speak again this column matrix become again row matrix it will take the actual of matrix this is b matrix means transpose of transpose again a matrix itself so this is become the first and the most important property of transpose of a matrix so i hope you have understood the definition of transpose of matrix i repeat here transpose means simply by interchanging the rows and columns of a given matrix so symbolically what we are speaking here if a is a matrix represented by a i j of order m by n then 
a transpose will be simply by changing the order of the element hence a i j becomes a j i and the order of the matrix becomes n by m so this is a common definition of transpose of matrix theoretically so now we are going to list four important properties of transpose of matrix which are very very useful to prove um, standard results further okay So now I am just writing the four properties of the matrix C. What is that? Important properties of transpose. Properties of transpose of matrix. The first already we have discussed that A transpose whole transpose is always equal to A matrix itself second k into a k is a any non-zero real number k times of a whole transpose is always equal to k times of a transpose value wise it's the same remember k times of a whole transpose is equal to k into a transpose you may verify this theoretically you may verify the same with the help of example also okay we are not going to discuss their derivations here and a plus of b whole transpose is equal to a transpose plus b transpose i repeat a plus b whole transpose is equal to a transpose plus b transpose similarly for difference also a minus b whole transpose is equal to a transpose plus b transpose. The fifth is a into b whole transpose product. So product will be, it's not like a, in a sequence, it's in a reverse order. It means it's always equal to b transpose into a transpose if, if their product is defined. So when I uh, listing this properties of transpose I never mention the condition on the type of matrix it means it's not necessary that only in a square matrix it will be possible if A and B are any general matrices where the addition subtraction or multiplication is exist that is the only condition they have to follow and now if you see this the last one a B whole transpose is equal to B transpose into A transpose. So this can be generalized by taking, let us say, the product of three matrices I am having. If I want to do the transpose of this, I can simply do the transpose by opening this bracket in a reverse order. It means C transpose into B transpose into A transpose. Remember, so this will be a generalized statement. So you may apply this statement for n number of uh, matrices where the product is exist, multiplication is exist. So these are the most important five properties you need to remember to discuss further. Okay, so first one is A transpose, whole transpose is A k times of a whole transpose is equal to k times of a transpose a plus b whole transpose is equal to a transpose plus b transpose so uh, to sake of convenience instead of speaking transpose transpose and transpose we are speaking a dash dash is also representing transpose so you may also speak a plus b whole dash is equal to a dash plus b dash a minus b whole dash is equal to a dash minus b dash a into b whole dash is equal to b dash into a dash. So these are the five important properties of transpose of matrix. With the help of this definition and the properties, we are going to discuss two major types of matrix or matrices. The first one is symmetric. 
what is meant by symmetric just like in symmetric geometrically what we are saying they are identical on both the side have a line of through a line of symmetry in a similar manner here in matrices also the and this property holds true and what is that if remember this condition means these definitions of symmetric and skew symmetric is only defined if on the given square matrices so if a matrix a is a matrix of order n by n n by n or also i can write it as a is a matrix defined as a i j order is n by n means it's a square matrix if a is a square matrix such that such that its transpose is equal to matrix itself such that it a transpose is equal to matrix itself if a matrix is framed is a square matrix is framed such a manner that after doing a transpose you are getting the matrix itself in such in that case in such cases the given square matrix is known as symmetric this is what symmetric are you getting so i am taking one example how it can be a uh, possible given i am giving you a first example for symmetric matrix i am taking one matrix a of 2 by 2 order 2 by 2 order because i need to take square matrix only to define symmetric and skew symmetric they are only possible when the symmetric and skew symmetric otherwise it it will not satisfy the definition because when you do the transpose order will reverse so if the if i take a general matrix of order 2 by 3 then order become 3 by 2 once we do the transpose they cannot be equated because their orders are not same so to equate two matrices what is the condition to be followed their order must to be same and it is only possible to define symmetric and skew symmetric just if the matrix is square matrix now i'm taking one example here 2 3 3 2 so it's a 2 by 2 matrix now if i do the transpose of this matrix what you will say a transpose simply row wise will take and will write column wise or you may take column wise to write row wise so i am taking the row 1 i am writing in column 1 i am taking the second row i am writing second column you will see you will see the both the matrices are identical hence from here i can say a transpose is equal to a or a dash is equal to a hence this is symmetric matrix so you can just remember ki while doing this transpose you can say the diagonal elements will not change their position this is a common observation you can observe that while doing the transpose the main diagonal elements principal diagonal elements never changes their position rest are or other elements are changing their position fine so now we have understood the definition of symmetric matrix now we'll move to understand the skew symmetric matrix what is skew symmetric matrix skew symmetric matrix it's also de uh, defined on the square matrix where a is a square matrix of order n by n such that a transpose is equal to minus a remember a transpose is equal to minus a if the matrix square matrix satisfying this condition is known as skew symmetric matrix it means i can also speak it means that therefore i can also say a i j element becomes 
माइनस ए जे आई ऑर्डर विल रिवर्स ए वन टू एलिमेंट बिकम ए टू वन एलिमेंट साइन विल ऑल्सो चेंज रिमेम्बर दिस सो हियर ए आई जे इज इक्वल टू माइनस ए जे आई टी वेर आई एंड जे आर द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज According to the given matrix, so simple skew symmetric means a square matrix satisfying this condition where a transpose equal to minus a. So now I am taking one example to understand how the uh, mat square matrix can be a skew symmetric matrix. See, I am taking one example a square matrix of order, let's say three. Zero, three, minus two, zero. This is a square matrix of order two by two. If I do the transpose of this matrix, what you will say? If I do the transpose of this matrix, what you will say? It becomes the row one becomes the column one. Row two becomes a column two. Am I right? So this is a transpose, and what is minus a? Means minus a means this matrix is multiplied by minus one. Minus a means the entire matrix is multiplied by the minus one. Each and every element is multiplied by minus one. Zero doesn't make uh, any difference here, so it will be remain same. It becomes uh, minus three, and it becomes two, and it becomes zero. Correct. Now you can see, is it a transpose equal to a? No. Okay. Uh, just let me let me change the example here. Mm hmm. I took a wrong example. That's why we are not able to get. I'm just changing the one single element. Now see, so this is the square matrix I took, where the diagonal elements I kept as zero, and other diagonal elements I kept. The numerically they are same, symbolically they are opposite in nature. If I took here two, so here I took here minus two. So in this way, if I do a transpose, I will be able to get this, and minus a means this. Now you can compare here. A transpose is equal to minus a. From these two results, I can say a transpose is equal to minus a, which satisfies the condition. Hence, the given matrix, square matrix A, is called skew symmetric matrix. I repeat, skew symmetric matrix means a square matrix is said to be a skew symmetric if it satisfies the condition. A transpose is equal to minus A, where the every element A I J becomes minus A J I. Means they are reversed along with that sign will also change. So this is a second type of skew symmetric matrix based on the transpose, based on the transpose concept. So now we have understood symmetric and skew symmetric matrices. so just i am elaborating these two matrices in short in a symbolic form let's see right so finally what we have understood right the first one is if a matrix a matrix a of the form a i j of order n by n right is symmetric if the square matrix is symmetric which implies the two results we can say transpose of a is equal to a the first condition 
which also implies that aij is an element becomes aji element that is row and columns interchange ho rahe hain so ultimately a1 to element kya banega a21 uska position is tarike se reverse reverse hoga and is scale symmetric scale symmetric right if a matrix a is symmetric it follows two conditions if it is a scale symmetric it says that transpose of this matrix will equal to minus a minus a as well as well a i j is also equal to minus a j i right so they are interchanging the elements along with the sign it means that if it is a positive number it becomes a negative negative number hoga to positive so with the help of this property we are going to prove one fundamental characteristic property of skew symmetric matrix which is been asked in boards many a times now what is that simple in this condition where for skew symmetric i am talking about if i if i put if i take if i is equal to j what is my i is equal to j they are representing the diagonal elements now if i take i is equal to j in this condition it implies that a i i is equal to minus a i i which also implies 2 a i i equal to 0 which is a i i equal to 0 what does it mean a i i means either the element representing a11 a22 a33 a44 and so on it means a i i representing the diagonal elements so all the diagonal elements will become zero okay if we are talking about what if the given square matrix a skew symmetric matrix then its all diagonal elements will be zero that's why you remember the example which i have taken to prove it is skew symmetric i kept diagonal element zero and i took the other diagonal elements in a same order by just by reversing their sign so you may give n number of skew symmetric matrix right examples just by following this condition so this is a basically a theorem ki they may ask the question prove that diagonal elements of skew symmetric matrix is always zero i repeat prove that diagonal elements of skew symmetric matrix is always zero then you need to just start with the definition skew symmetric if a square matrix is skew symmetric which implies a transpose is equal to minus a where a i j is equal to minus a j i if i take i is equal to j this condition become like this where by simplifying you will say a i i equal to 0 it means that all diagonal elements are zero hence proof you may also give some suitable example here so if i want to write 3 by 3 skew symmetric matrix just i am following the same first i will keep all diagonal elements of the matrix will be zero then i am just going to write the other diagonal elements if i keep here 2 so diagonally element is here minus 2 if i keep 3 here so diagonally opposite element will be minus 3 if i keep here 4 so diagonally opposite it is 4 you can see when i say diagonally opposite elements so this is what a12 element so a21 it's opposite diagonal element see this is called diagonal 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 apart from the main diagonal you can see 
This is the main diagonal element. So main diagonal elements are zeros. Then other opposite diagonal elements are you can see the change in the elements. If it is a positive number, it will be a negative of same number. Similarly, 3, so minus 3, 4, minus 4. If you take here minus 2, it will be plus 2. If it is minus 5, it will be plus 5. If it is 6, it will be minus 6, like this. So this is a characteristic property of skew symmetric matrix. I repeat, here, if it is a skew symmetric matrix, the diagonal elements must be 0. But converse is not always true. It means simply by taking the diagonal elements are 0, you cannot say it is k symmetric. Example, I am taking here. If I write like this 0, 0, 2, 3, you can see the diagonal elements are 0, but it is not a k symmetric because if you observe the other diagonal elements, they are not following that condition key if it is positive 2 it must be negative 2 or it is 3 it must be minus 3 so they are not following that hence it is not skew symmetric so here you have understood the three important points about the skew symmetric matrix the first point skew symmetric means they must satisfy two conditions a transpose is equal to minus a where a i j is equal to minus a j second all diagonal elements of skew symmetric matrix is always zero. The third point, if the diagonal elements of a square matrix is zero, it need not to be a skew symmetric matrix. It need not to be a skew symmetric matrix. I have given example here. Hope so you have understood the definition of symmetric and skew symmetric. Now, with the help of these definitions, and the four properties, five major properties of transpose, we are going to prove important theorems which are there in the syllabus and they are being asked in the board exam frequently. Now let's have a discussion on the important results. What are the important results we have? I'm writing first here symmetric so symmetric ka definition ho gaya. a transpose is equal to a and second one we discussed that scale symmetric scale symmetric means a transpose is equal to minus a that's it now seven points are discussed now what are the important results which we are going to prove the result is the first result is A plus A transpose is always symmetric. This operation is always a symmetric. This is the first result which we are going to prove. It means if A is a square matrix, then sum of the matrix and its transpose, right, is always a symmetric. So we are going to prove this statement here. Right. Now you know, by addition of two matrices, it again produces a new matrix only. So definitely I can assume this sum as a single matrix as a single matrix denoted by p let us say let let p is equal to the operation this operation is assumed as a plus a transpose as p now to prove what to prove what to prove where i have to prove where i have to prove that this operation is symmetric it means that transpose of P must be equal to P. This is my target. Okay. 
Now, to prove this, I am taking the left hand portion to prove RHS. I am taking this left hand side. That is P transpose I am taking. P transpose implies that A plus A transpose the whole transpose. But in addition, like the third point here, you can see A plus B whole transpose equal to A transpose B transpose. I can write this as A transpose plus A transpose the whole transpose as the property number 3. But you may also speak A transpose the whole transpose is transpose its sorry matrix itself A dash whole dash is equal to A. Hence you can also speak this becomes P. So you can say P transpose is equal to P. Therefore what you can say here P transpose is equal to P. It implies that A plus A transpose is always symmetric. Have you understood? It's so simple to speak. What I am saying here a plus A transpose is always symmetric. This operation, this addition is always symmetric. How I have proved? Just by taking this as P matrix. And then I have, and I was able to prove P transpose equal to P by taking the transpose of that operation. Just by applying the uh, few properties of the transpose, suitable properties. And then I was able to get P. So it means that it is symmetric. Now the second proof. These are standard results basically. Now the difference. We are talking about the difference. A minus A transpose is always skew symmetric. I repeat, A minus A transpose is always skew symmetric. Now, how can I prove in the same manner? It's so simple to prove. What I do? What I do here? I'll assume this operation as Q. So, let Q is equal to A minus A transpose. So, what to prove then? We have to prove Q dash is equal to minus Q. Then you can say this operation is skew symmetric. Now I am taking Q dash. Q dash means A minus A transpose the whole dash. Hence A minus B whole dash is equal to A dash minus B dash as property number 4. So I can write it as A dash minus A dash the whole dash. And A dash minus A dash the whole dash is matrix itself as property number one hence it also be written as by taking minus common i can write it as a minus a transpose which is basically equal to q a minus a transpose can be written as q now what i have proved therefore q transpose is equal to minus q hence what is q this operation so this operation is always skew symmetric matrix. I repeat, this operation is always skew symmetric matrix. We have proved two important results here. The first one, A plus A dash is always symmetric. A minus A dash is always skew symmetric matrix. Now, the third important result which we are going to prove. Fine. What is that third result here? Every, I am writing the statement here. Every square matrix, square matrix is expressible or written as the sum of symmetric and skew symmetric
carefully read the statement what does it states every square matrix is expressible as a sum of symmetric and skew symmetric what does it mean it means that if a square matrix a of order n by n is always expressible as sum of half of a plus a transpose plus half of a minus a transpose i can write the given square matrix as sum of like this you can see by taking lcm2 minus a transpose plus a transpose get cancelled a plus a is 2a 2a by 2 means 2 to get cancelled a so every square matrix can be written as sum of this and this operation where this operation will be symmetric this operation will be skew symmetric hence their addition will always give a matrix a that we are going to prove this result which we are going to prove okay fine so i have to prove this one basically this i have to prove this i have to prove so i will take the right hand side to get lhs okay so what is the right hand portion we have so i'm taking this i'm just solving this okay to prove this again i have to prove this operation is symmetric this operation is skew symmetric as we have proved this is symmetric and this is skew symmetric hence i can use the previous results as a standard statements to prove this statement so i'm taking the right hand side what is that a plus a dash I am taking a plus a dash as we know that a plus a dash operation is always always symmetric right if it is symmetric so definitely half of a plus a transpose is also symmetric as the reason here k times of a whole transpose is equal to k times of a transpose as property number 2 with the help of property number 2 it means when you are multiplying a matrix addition subtraction of any matrix is multiplied by non zero constant it does not change the property of the matrix i repeat if you are multiplying a matrix with a non zero real number Hence, it does not change the property of the given matrix. Hence, if A plus A transpose is always symmetric, then half of A plus A transpose is also symmetric. Similarly, you can also say, similarly, A minus A transpose is always skew symmetric, is always skew symmetric, then it implies that half of a minus a transpose is also skew symmetric so i have proved here this result is always representing symmetric this result is always representing skew symmetric now just by adding one i two one plus two both the results if i am adding half of a plus a transpose plus half of a minus a transpose simply by taking an LCM here so you will say that a plus a transpose plus a minus a transpose by 2 these two get cancelled so a plus a is 2a 2a by 2 which always results into a matrix a so every square matrix it shows that every square matrix written as the sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrices so this operation is always symmetric this operation is always skew symmetric hence their addition will give a matrix a this is very very important result 
that by theorem also they are asking in the form of question also they are asking they are asking these concept in four marks so please remember these questions are asked for four marks long type questions so here this result is over now i am taking the fourth result okay fine let's see so how many results we are deriving i will sum up at the end so now i am taking one important results there yeah, these these results are asking in the test book in the form of question in the form of question here let's say i am taking one question here if i am writing the question over the for the board as the uh, here we can also speak the result number 4 that if a and b are symmetric symmetric matrices matrices then prove that then prove that ab minus ba is a skew symmetric right what is this uh, statement says if a and b are the symmetric matrices then prove that this operation this operation is skew symmetric now let's take what does it mean what is given what to prove what is given what is given a and b are symmetric what does it mean symmetric means a transpose is equal to a and b transpose is equal to b this is a given condition with the help of this what i have to prove what i have to prove i have to prove this operation is skew symmetric it means transpose of this ab minus ba transpose is equal to minus of ab minus ba right let us say it is p matrix so p transpose equal to minus p because we have to prove it as k symmetric so i have to prove this so to prove this i can take left hand side to simplify to prove right hand side so i am taking left hand side what is a left hand side we have this is so i am just simplifying lhs left hand side of this part so i can apply the property a minus b whole transpose form so it can be written as a transpose minus b transpose correct but here the product of two matrices whole transpose reversal law no? इसको हम ओपन करेंगे इट विल बी बी ट्रांसपोज इंटू ए ट्रांसपोज इट विल बी ए ट्रांसपोज इंटू बी ट्रांसपोज बट एज इन अ क्वेश्चन बी ट्रांसपोज इज बी ए ट्रांसपोज इज ए दे आर दे आर सिमेट्रिक हेंस आई कैन रिप्लेस ए ट्रांसपोज विथ ए बी ट्रांसपोज विथ बी इन रिजल्ट इट विल बिकम बी ए माइनस ए बी सो आई कैन राइट दिस एज माइनस ऑफ a b minus b a you can see we obtained the right hand side hence proved so simple to prove very simple to understand so here we have proved if a and b are the symmetric matrices a b minus b a result this result is always skew symmetric matrix with the help of properties of transpose right now in a similar manner the last theorem or we can also say last result you know to prove right 
correct. What is that? I am writing the question again here. As a question they are asking this. Show that. Show that the matrix. Show that the matrix. B dash A into B. This is a result. This is a matrix. Is symmetric. Or, or skew symmetric, skew symmetric, according to, according as A, A matrix, capital A matrix is symmetric or skew symmetric. Now see how interesting the question is. What they said, try to understand. We have to show that this matrix is symmetric or skew symmetric according as A is symmetric or skew symmetric. Yani, yadi A is symmetric, hoga, so this operation will be symmetric. A the skew symmetric hoga, so this operation will be skew symmetric. Means there are two conditions we need to prove by taking first the A as symmetric will prove this operation is symmetric. Second case where we'll consider A is skew symmetric, then we'll prove this operation is skew symmetric. Let's try. So to prove first what I am condition case one. In case one. What I am taking here, A transpose is equal to A, means where I consider A is a symmetric matrix, right? Then I am taking this B dash A B whole. Now I am taking this transpose. So what you will say here, just by rule of multiplication, right, you might also speak dash here, in terms of dash, the question is framed. Hence, I can open this with the help of the uh, reversal of transpose. So it will be what? B transpose into A transpose into B transpose whole transpose. But transpose of transpose is matrix itself. So hence, B transpose, B dash, A dash into B. But what is A dash? A dash is A. Hence, B dash, I can replace this A dash with A into B. So if you see, so I arrived that B dash A B whole dash is equal to B dash A B, the matrix itself, the result itself. Hence, it is, it is symmetric. If a given matrix A is symmetric, I have able to, I am able, I was able to prove this is also a symmetry. Now, case 2, where we are considering that it is skew symmetric means A dash is equal to minus A if A dash is equal to minus A. Now, what is the transpose of this operation? B dash A B. Is ka operation kya hoga? Is ka transpose kya hoga? So by reversal of transpose, I can write B dash, A dash, B dash, full dash, which will result into A dash, B dash of P is B. But here, A dash is minus A. Hence, I can replace this with minus A into B. So I can write this minus outside the product because I already told you that I already told you that when you multiply any matrix here with a non-zero constant, it does not change its property. So I can keep this minus outside. Hence, what I was able to prove here, B dash A B whole dash becomes minus of B dash A B. It follows the definition of skew symmetric. Therefore, it is 
what we can say here scale symmetric it shows that if a matrix A is symmetric then this operation is symmetric A is skew symmetric then this operation is skew symmetric this is the question they have asked hope so we have uh, understood the concept of standard results here so I simply listing the important results where we have proved that symmetric and skew symmetric where you need to remember their derivations because they are asking in the form of questions okay so what are the important result we have proved in this session let's have that here the first one what we have proved here the first results yeah I'm just talking about the results which we are proved results the first one is if a is k symmetric means a dash is equal to minus a it implies that a i i is equal to 0 it means that all diagonal element of scale symmetric matrix is always 0 the first one second one we have proved that a plus a transpose is always symmetric it means is dash is equal to a plus a dash only as it is the third one is a minus a dash whole dash is equal to what we say minus of a minus a dash the fourth one we have proved that if if a dash is equal to a b dash is equal to b it implies that a b minus b a whole dash is equal to minus of a B minus B A which is skew symmetry and the last one was if A dash is equal to A then what was that E B dash A B whole dash is equal to B dash A B if in the same way if A dash is minus A this will be result to minus so these are the important results we have proved theoretically and these are the questions they are asking in solved examples some are asked in some solved example some are framed in exercise some are framed in miscellaneous exercise of the NCI textbook so by discussing this we have indirectly discussed six sums here done now we'll take one uh, important questions here three or four questions how, how their questions they are framing based on this concept and then well we will end up this session okay now yes what they are asking see wherever it is possible uh, that you can do so I'm not solving wherever it is my assistance is required then only I will solve and taking the questions from exercise 3.3 the question number 3 if a dash is equal to 3 4 minus 1 2 0 and 1 another matrix B is given as minus 1, 1, 2, 2, 1 and 3. These are the two matrices. It is a A dash. You know? So we can do by transposing this you will get A. By transposing you will get B dash. Now verify that. What they are asking? Verify that. The first part they are asking that a plus b whole dash is equal to a dash plus b dash second part a minus b whole dash is equal to a dash minus b dash now see 
this says we need to verify. Verify means we need to solve left hand portion and right hand portion. So simply try to understand how can I solve this left hand portion. First I will solve the bracket. What the bracket says here A plus B means addition of two matrices. I required A, I required B. B is already there. I required A. How can I get A? Simply by transposing this. So transpose of transpose is again matrix itself. Hence my iska transpose karunga. So I will be able to get A. Iska transpose karunga. I will be able to get B. So means given matrix A and B hai. So first my ha B transpose find karo or A find karo. Just by reversing the order. And then I am just substituting the results in the left hand side and the right hand side. I am solving both the sides. Then I will be able to prove left hand side result is equal to right hand side. Nothing else. I may also add so many parts in the same question. I may also ask to verify that. Right. A, B whole transpose is equal to B transpose into A transpose. But before asking this question, I must ensure that ki their product is possible or not. Okay. So simply what they are asking that e, some one or two matrices will be given to you and they will ask to verify the properties of transpose. You have understood five properties we have discussed. They are simply asking that five properties to verify, 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 verify means that property need to be verified as LH is equal to RHS. I hope you will do this part by your own because it's simply a algebra. Okay, let's try yourself this one. Now I am moving to the main important core part of this entire concept which are been asked for four marks. So that I am going to take that will be the last question of the session. Question is express the matrix right of 2 by 2 square matrix that is 3 5 1 minus 1 3 5 1 minus 1 as a as a sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. I repeat this we have already proved right that a given square matrix can be expressible as a sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. This question been asked for four marks and there are several questions are there in the exercise to practice. Now, I am just explaining the methodology to prove this is expressible as sum of symmetric and skew symmetric. First, what I have to show, I am writing what I have to show or what I have to prove. What I have to prove? I have to prove A as half of A plus A dash plus half of A minus A dash. This is what I have to prove. This statement means so I will take this operation as B and this operation as Q. I am taking this operation as P, this operation as Q. First I will find P value, I will find Q matrix separately. Then I will first prove that P is symmetric, Q is scale symmetric then by adding these two results i will prove the sum as a that is given matrix okay so what is a, a procedure here i am following for this c to prove this question we need to follow some algorithm what is the first step to be followed first i will take p that is I will find P which is equal to half of A plus A dash. Then I will prove P dash 
P transpose is equal to P. Then I will take Q which is equal to half of A minus A dash. Then I will prove Q dash is equal to Q. So after proving this, then I will take the sum P plus Q. Right? Where I will prove this sum is equal to A. So these are the steps. Five steps we need to follow. First we will take the operation P which is equal to this. Then we will prove this is symmetric. Symmetric. Then I will take Q where I will prove Q dash is equal to minus Q where it is we can say it is skew symmetric. Then I will add symmetric and skew symmetric parts that is P plus Q. Then I, if I able to get A means the question is derived. So remember this. Now we will take the question. So this is algorithm need to follow. The first step is P. Right? First I will first solve for P half of A plus A dash. What is A? The given matrix. So I am taking that only. A means 3, 5, 1, minus 1 plus A dash and yani transpose of A. Transpose means row wise uthaye and red in column wise. 3, 5, then second row becomes second column. And simply solve further. So half of 3 plus 3 will be 6, 5 plus 1 is 6, 1 plus 5 is 6, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Now it is P. So after this the second step. What is second step? I have to prove now. I am taking P transpose. P transpose means half of 6, 6, 6 minus 2 the transpose. It's got transpose. So ultimately it is half of by transposing this row become the column. Second row become the second column. It's again a P. You can see. This is P. After doing the transpose also I am getting the same, same answer. So I can see here P transpose is equal to P. Therefore P is what? P is symmetric. This is a step 1 here I have done the step 1 I took this as step 1 step 2 I have proved this is symmetric now I am taking step 3 where the, I am going to solve the operation Q so I need this result P I need this P once I write aside. So what I got P as half of 6 6 6 minus 2. Okay. Now I am taking the Q. Right. In step 3, step 3, what you will do first take Q as this operation. First we will solve for Q. What how it can be obtained? By writing the matrix A as 3, 5, 1, minus 1, minus A dash means transpose of this matrix that will be 3, 5, 1, minus 1. And then simply subtract the results, we will get 3 minus 3 as 0, 5, 4, minus 4 and 0. Now we are going to prove that Q dash is equal to minus Q as step 4. Step 4. Q dash means transpose of this matrix is half of again what 4 minus 4 0 is the transpose of letter. So ultimately half will remain same by transposing this it will you will see this as 0 4 minus 0 which can also written as minus half of 0 4 minus 4 0 which also written as minus q minus q therefore q transpose is equal to minus q which implies q is skew symmetric 
So I was able to prove P is symmetric, Q is Q symmetric. Now as a last step, I am going to add symmetric operation and Q symmetric operation. So I require the result of Q. That's why I am just wiping out the steps here. Right. So I have Q as this, P as this. This is Q. This is P. Now this as step 5. What I am going to do is just I am going to add the results. What is P? This is half of 6, 6, 6 minus 2. What is Q? Half of half of 0, 4, minus 4 and 0. Now by taking half of half as a common factor now by taking addition of these two 6 plus 0 is 0 6 plus 4 is what 10 and here 6 minus 4 is 2 minus 2 plus 0 is minus 2 now by dividing the entire matrix with 2 i was able to i will able to get 3 5 1 minus 1 which is equal to a p plus q is a therefore a can be written as p plus q hence it is written as sum of the symmetric and scale symmetric matrix hence proved so this is a major important question four mark type question they are asking frequently in the boards so please do the practice on the exercise 3.3 from the ncrt textbook thoroughly so we will meet in the next session as uh, session 5 with the concept of invertible matrix right so just do the practice and be safe be happy at your home thank you all of you